hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is blessing and i am so excited to be dropping another video yes i am excited and i know you're excited too on today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to achieve this flawless date night makeup look on the other news my friends if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and if you find my videos interesting and valuable do give me a thumbs up comment like and share my videos thank you my brows off camera i use the mapbook eyebrow pencil to line my brows that's the pencil i've been using for some time now so to clean up my brows i am using the zaron liquid concealer in medium and i'm using this flat brush from zaron old mini brush set as you can see i am flattening this brush onto my brow bone before blending the concealer i do not want the concealer to be all over the place so you need to take it take it little by little to achieve that you know precise brows you're looking for I am going in with this blending brush from Zara Professional Brush Set to blend out the excess concealer. For my crease, I am starting with this brown color from Zara Cosmetics Nude Eyeshadow Palette in Earth. As you can see, I am blending from the inner corner to the outer corner of my crease. And I am using this blending brush from Bobbi Brown that I've had in years. Like, I really love this blending brush and it's one of my go-to blending brush. <laughs> For my lid, I am using the Zara Liquid Concealer in Medium as my base. You know, concealer on your lid helps to cover up discolorations and veins and it also helps to create a smooth canvas to work on. I feel like blending your concealer into your eyelid is very key to avoid creasing when you apply your eyeshadow. I am going in with this beautiful bronze warm shadow from Makeup Evolution Blush Palette and I am using this flat eyeshadow brush from Zara Professional Brush Set to apply it. You know without putting so much effort, I just love how warm and natural the shadow is. My eyes are set and done. I will be fixing my first lash off camera. So I am priming my face with the Zara Cosmetic Pore Minimizer. One of the benefits of this product is to cover up imperfections and instantly evens out fine line. I love how it's coming out on my face. my foundation i am using the new super stay in warm sun that's in number 334 i love the consistency of this foundation and i also love the fact that it's a full coverage foundation full coverage foundation is meant to completely cover your skin you know any hyper pigmentation covers it it gives your skin that flawless look you know that's why i really love full coverage foundation how do you like your foundation? Do you like full coverage or lightweight? Let me know in the comment section. I am using this beauty blender from Alabama Beauty to blend in 
my foundation so it can give me that flawless uh, finish or let's say flawless look but just to blend out to make everything look smooth and even To conceal my under eye, I went in with the Zara Liquid Concealer in shade medium and I'm using the same beauty blender I used to blend in my foundation to blend in the, the concealer. To set my makeup, I went in with the Benai Luxury Powder in Banana. I am using the Contour Powder from the Zara Face Definer Palette in XT10 to sculpt my face. I am buffing out the excess powder on my face using Morphe powder brush. I am trying to be careful doing this. As you can see, I am not putting so much pressure on my brush on my skin. I'm trying to be careful so I wouldn't end up moving the product on my face. Part of the technique you need to know, you don't need to put so much pressure on your brush when dusting out your powder. You need to be careful so you won't have, you won't end up moving your product. I am going in with the Kiss Beauty setting spray to set my makeup, making sure everything is melted onto my skin. For my blush, I went in with one of the pink colors from the Zara eyeshadow palette in Splash. I really love how this color came out on my skin, like it's so beautiful. So sorry guys, I had to complete the remaining look off camera. I was having issues with my lighting, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share my video. Thank you.